Yellow. I'm Tony Two Shoes, and I'm gonna review these shoes for all of you. All right, all right, I got three shoes from New Balance here, as I like to call them, the Foaming Empire. I mean, look at these, I'm fresh foaming at the mouth here. It's like I just went and picked up a prescription from the Foamacy. I've got the reliable SC Trainer V3, the plush More V5, and the lively Balos V1. It's the first one. Now, they all have different attributes, and they're pretty unique in their own ways, so, Let's break these things down. This is the Fuel Cell SC Trainer V3. It's New Balance's Super Trainer. A Super Trainer is basically a shoe that has all the components of a race day shoe, but in a less aggressive, more structured package. So it's the tech and the benefits of a carbon fiber racing shoe, but catered to a wider range of runners. It's a really nice complement to a race day shoe, like the SC Elite from New Balance. You got a mesh upper, much more structured than a race day shoe. Lock-in was really nice and secure. I like this because most race day shoes, the uppers are a little too thin and frankly, a little too flimsy for me. My heels are narrow, my arches are wildly low and flexible. I got pancakes. So this is really nice because I get the response and fun of a race day shoe, but in a more structured daily trainer package. On the foam, you've got Fuel Cell. It's a Piba based foam, so it's responsive. Almost feels kind of like rubbery. Now in between this performance foam, you have a carbon fiber plate, but this is no ordinary carbon fiber plate. This is New Balance's Energy Arc. So at the back half of the plate, you have these like waves or cambers that flatten when you land and then rebound to help aid in propulsion. At the front half, the plate is forked, so it gives a little more flexibility at the toe off and kind of individualizes where you're putting placement, how your toes splay. Also shaves a little weight. Now, like most plated shoes, the faster I ran, the more I felt the response from the plate, but at any pace, this shoe works well. The New Balance Fuel Cell SC Trainer V3 is $180, and it makes sense at that price point, especially for all that you're getting here. 9.2 ounces in the men's, 4.7 ounces in the women's, 40 millimeters of foam at the heel, 36 at the front, so that's a four millimeter heel to toe drop. Now I felt the low drop and I liked it. It really accentuated the rocker of the plate. All in all, I would say that this shoe is quite pleasant. It was exactly as I expected it to feel, and that's good. But wait, there's more. This is the Fresh Foam X More V5. Now I'm gonna level with you here. My expectations were kind of low for this shoe, and here's why. I had the previous version, V4, and it just felt like that they just took a bunch of foam and put it under the shoe. It really didn't have much character, any like oomph. Plus the upper on V4, it just wasn't the right fit for me. I felt like I was sloshing around in there and didn't really feel supported. So I really wasn't sure what to expect with V5, but my expectations were exceeded. I really like the look of the shoe. I love this moon rock, like abstract futuristic look to it. And it kind of also looks like a casual sneaker. I felt very secure in the upper. The tongue was nice and plush and I felt held into the shoe very well. And just stepping into it, it didn't feel like an overwhelming amount of shoe. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a lot of shoe, don't get me wrong. But for a max cushion shoe, it didn't feel too over the top. You've got your Fresh Foam X, which is soft, it's bouncy, but it also feels structured and sturdy. You've got a very pronounced flare out here with the foam and that offered a very stable ride and I really appreciated that. I love that it had so much bounce and support because those are two things you don't normally get in one shoe. And believe it or not, it didn't feel terribly clunky on the run and I felt like I actually was able to pick it up pretty smoothly with this. The Fresh Foam X More V5 is $160, so that's pretty much in line with a max cushion shoe and I almost want to say it's kind of a good deal for this guy 11 ounces in the men's 8.6 in the women's 
44 millimeters at the heel, 40 at the front. That's a four milli drop. And I think the shoe might look more intimidating than it like actually is. You sit nice and low and secure in this. It feels like what a max cushion shoe should feel like. You're not standing on top of the foam, you're held into it. And the Fresh Foam X has a touch of stiffness at the ball of the foot. So you're really adding a little bit of snap to the bounce. Now onto the Ballos. The first of its kind, the concept car, a sporty sedan. It looks tame, but it is quite vivacious. Another really good looking shoe here, by the way. I mean, let's be honest, New Balance is making some good looking shoes and good performing shoes. The upper, you got this like techie mesh creel upper and you got this stretchy knit tongue. So it's a really breathable, almost like open fit but really still secure in the heel. Nothing about the shoe feels like it's too extra or too unnecessary. So for the midsole, this is really cool. You take your Fresh Foam X and Piba and you combine them. Think of your New Balance 1080 and your New Balance Rebel and mix them up together and combine them and you kind of basically get what I get from running in the ballows. For the ride, you get a slight rocker, but again, nothing is too aggressive here. Really just smooth heel to toe, and then you just pop off the ground. There's like a lot of buoyancy to this shoe. The Ballos is a very versatile shoe. It can be a daily trainer. It can be a long run. It could be a track workout. It can certainly be a race day shoe. It's sort of like a very fast Swiss army knife. The New Balance Ballos is $200. 9.2 ounces in the men's, 7.3 in the women's. 9.2 ounces, it feels way lighter than that. I think it's time for you to new balance your scales over there. Stack height is 33 at the heel, 27 at the front, six millimeter offset, race ready, road ready, really cool. Now these all felt different, but they did have some similarities. First of all, they all look really great. I mean, with the colorways and the designs, new balance, home run for sure. New Balance really took their time to craft shoes that have elements of support and stability while not sacrificing performance. Really delivering inherent stability. Support when, where, and if you need it. I usually find that softer foams just don't work well for my low flexible arches, but the support across the board was certainly there and never felt too obtrusive either. Every time I went to pull one of these shoes for a run, I was excited to take them out. I liked how different they felt, but how complete they felt across all the models. I'm really excited to see what's coming out next, and spoiler alert, the next 1080 is pretty good too. I give the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Trainer V3, why is it so many words? Fresh Foam X More V5, also a lot of words, and the Ballos, much better. Two shoes up! You get two shoes, you get two shoes, everybody gets two shoes! I'm Tony Two Shoes and I just reviewed these shoes, yeah, all of these shoes for all of you.